My goal is to build one of the craziest backyards anyone has ever seen. But to really see my vision, I want to build the park in VR so we can really visualize what this is going to look like. And even though it looks like we've done a lot of stuff here, there's still so much work to do in order to get this place done. So to really see this vision come to life, we're going to build it in VR. So first of all, we designed the basic outline of the property so we could begin to build within it. As a person that doesn't play video games much, this is so amazing to be able to build this place in real life. Being able to build half the house, half the shop already, and the entire landscape, no budget, think about just building it and doing it, that is so cool. My team is actually gonna start putting together the rest of the entire property. What we need to do is figure out what are the measurement of each block. Is each block like one, two, or three feet? So the plan is to measure out how much each block is. We're gonna go to the backyard and measure out how far the porch line is. And then from there, we'll be able to just double, triple, and then be able to figure out each block from there. I have gotten the measurements for everything so far. So the shop from this point all the way to this point are actually accurate. This is accurate from how far the shop is to the house. The measurements per block is three feet per block. So it's a three by three block. Like it's crazy. Like I'm gonna be able to build a real drift track in real time in front of the shop, around the house and make it look so real. Like this is gonna be the coolest thing ever. Like I'm seriously building Rush Park in real life. Like this is actually happening. That's crazy. So I need to find out where the pond's gonna be at. I know the slide is gonna be here. I'm gonna set up the slide right now. So this is the tower. Just to do this right here already has taken us almost a year to do because we've never built a water slide before. So I'm literally just making this come to life right now, which is really cool. The water slide tower literally is somewhat complete now. Like I have the stairs to get up there. This is so cool. Wow, look at the house down there. You can see the house. It's not finished yet, but it's literally about there. All right, so this is the slide. The slide is here. This is gonna be really interesting because I'm not sure how I'm gonna create this. Yeah, I feel like I'm literally looking at the slide. This is, this is exactly how big the slide was when I looked at it. Yeah, the slide tower is literally complete. That took us months to complete right there. Like that, that took us forever to do. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda jealous that I just did that that quickly. Okay, so now that I was able to get the entire, uh, now that I was able to get the water slide tower built, we need the rest of the property built. So I'm gonna have my team go in and build the rest of the shop, the rest of the house, and I'm gonna come back and I'm going to build the rest of Rush the way that I envision it to be. All right, the driveway. The aesthetics are the most important, obviously. All right, let's keep this baby going. Let's build the pond right now. The pond is one of the most important staples of this business. Welcome Rush Park. We are putting this thing together. It's gonna be the perfect world for the Funk Bros and the Funk Fam. We have finished the pond. It's freaking gorgeous. <laughs> I'm getting so distracted right now. I found a laser what? and I can plant sheep. All right, welcome back. Um, I found out I could shoot lasers. I got sheep for us as well, which is fun. But what's most important is this idea right here. This is my genius idea. So um, this is gonna be our half pipe. It's not as detailed as I'd like it to be, but this is our half pipe, all right? And I wanna put trampolines. So these represent trampolines. So what would be really sick is to have like a, it, it would be like a ramp into a trampoline lander. This would not be so steep. It'd be more like universal for everyone to try. But it's like this is a trampoline. And I wanna find different ways to use trampolines. So what I was thinking too, what we could do is this. We could turn these, so it's like a ramp into a sideways. Okay, but this would be trampolines here. So trampolines, trampolines, so you could ride up, bounce, jump back in, would be super sick. And then if, I'm just looking for more ideas like that. And another fun idea I was thinking about is this. So this is how it would work. It would be like this, okay? Trampoline, ready for this guys? Into another, like a staircase trampoline, okay? So it goes jump, bounce, bounce, and then it's a drop in. But yeah, imagine this guys. So we go drop in, hit trampoline, trampoline, flip down into a ramp. Like there's something here. This is my dream right here. So what I'm building here is I'm gonna build a tower that we can jump off of. So I'm gonna build these four posts, four posts here, and these posts are gonna hold the tower. So the full scope of what I'm building here is just basically just like a high dive, but it's more of just like a platform that we can have right by the water. But what's even cool about this is you can see how big this platform is. We can bring a trampoline up here. We can have literally anybody jump off. Like of all 
shapes and sizes, like no one has to try, they literally can just fall off this and land in the water. So it's basically just a deck that we can use. I'm gonna build this deck up so we are able to have multiple floors that we are able to use. All right, so we have the deck, we have the second level, which this is a pretty decent height. I'd say this is a good like 25 foot drop. I think this would be high, for me this would be high enough. But at this point, this is where things become fun. We can start adding a lot of cool things up here. Uh, one thing that I was really wanting to add was like, let's say a rope swing. All right, so you're probably wondering what this is. This is a blob. This is just a big old square looking thing. It's kind of hard to make it look like an actual blob. So that's what the blob would look like. I'd probably set it here. We'd probably put like a little deck that goes right there. I would probably put like a little deck out like this and then make sure no one falls off. We have like a little gate that goes around. Make sure no one gets hurt. Something like that, right? So now people can jump off. They won't get hurt. They land on the block. No one's going to fly over the side. There's plenty of water around everywhere. But you can see how this whole tower here is able to be utilized in so many different ways. I guess I'm done with this. I guess I can build the high dive in the backyard. All right, so this is the human catapult. This is real, we've already built this. I've already launched myself off of it, but I've built it here on the side of the pond just so we know what it looks like, and it probably looks like a bunch of blocks, but let's just ignore that. That, that This is the human catapult, and this is where it's at. Um, the cool thing about the human catapult is it actually can move to wherever we want, so there's no stationary place for it, so it could really go at any side. And as you can see, if we like look across the pond, we would see the water slide up with all of that fun stuff attached to it. As of right now, it's on the ground, but it will be up sooner or later. Mark my words. This is the current rope swing. As you can see, it's made out of electrical poles. This was meant to uh, be 10 to 20 feet over that way. And the reason was for that is because when it hangs over the water, if you fall, you fall in the water, which is a good thing. Uh, but for this, I, I don't know why I did this, honestly, but I, I did it for a reason. And right now this is very unsafe, but we can't have that anymore. So. What my goal was is to build a really big platform here where you can utilize to then jump into the pond. But I have been kind of like unsure about it because I was wanting to expand the pond this way uh, later on once things get bigger, better, gnarlier. Uh, so even considering building a tower somewhere is something I really wanna do. I know over there would be awesome, but it would just block the view of the house and it could be in the way of other things that we might wanna use the pond for, like pulling people in from like a car and like hitting a jump into it or something crazy. I've decided that it's gonna go here. Maybe we can utilize this tree and make a tree house high dive tower. So the tower, imagine, attached to this tree would be really cool, but this is where it would go. It'd be probably 10 feet up for the first level and then 20 feet up for the next level. Then we'll be able to jump off of it. The blob would be over here to the left towards the center of the pond. This pond's a lot bigger in VR. I definitely overshot the crap out of it, but at least shows you how big I want the pond to be, at least. Let's go build some other stuff. This is where we're at. We just built the Yaa Yeet. We just built the High Dive. We just built the Human Catapult. Tower that we jump off of onto the blob. We have the Mega Ramp here, but we're probably gonna take care of that because the Mega Ramp is gonna be moved to the Water Slide Tower. And now we have the Water Park. In prior videos, you saw that we connected the Water Park to the Yaa Yeet. And as you can see, this Yaa Yeet is pretty big and I don't want it near the blob and everything. So I'm gonna be moving the water park into this area right here. So we're gonna create just a couple obstacles that are gonna meet up to the backside of the IE because we don't really jump onto that. But it'd be really cool if you jump, if you go from the back of the house to the pond and you could jump on all this, right? So let's just imagine we get all this going here, right? So we just like create that. Let's turn around, make sure. Yeah, look at that. We got our perfect line headed to the IE here. This is gonna be confusing. It's gonna look like grass here, which we don't want that. So I'm gonna create a yellow line here, or no, a blue. We need the blue. For our first obstacle, we're just gonna keep this pretty simple. Let's just do, let's just do a slope. We're just gonna make this a simple triangle to have to get over. Not too bad, right? Now for this one here, we wanna make this like a bridge. We should make this, oh, you know what? We'll make this a skinny guy. We have to just do a quick little skinny walk. So this one's a little tight rope. So this one's over, tight rope. All right, so we got that balance. All right, so let's do the bridge. All right, I like the bridge idea. That one's cool. Um, I just know I'm not gonna be able to do this exactly how I want to. Okay, we're we'll just do the bridge one. Uh, right now, after the bridge, I'm now building a double wide balance beam because when you come down this, you can come down with speed and you're gonna struggle to get around it. So now I'm gonna build the, the balance beam where you have to go on both sides to make it across. 
even, which is funny. So as you can see, it looks really, really empty, but this is giving me a really great vision of what it should look like as we walk out there and where it sends us to after. I really see that. I like the thought of kind of getting on here and then kind of going over there and then after going to the right. We have a lot of cool inflatables to work with, and I think this place is gonna turn to something quite amazing. This is the 50 by 50 foot bag. Um, this is what we're actually gonna be putting over there where the mega ramp's gonna be, off the water slide. Now you can see the vision. For me, I've been just, every day I go out, I'm like, man, dude, I really wanna build that water slide because that water slide is everything. This is what the front yard looks like, and this is what we built. And that is what the drift track is supposed to look like. Drift track, driving track, road racing, whatever you want it to be. It could even be a half rally, half road racing track. This is the vision, and this is what we're gonna build in the future. This is what the water slide looks like right now. And this is what the water slide looks like when it's built with everything attached. After the entire team spending hours within VR, building our dream of Rush Park, we finally have the ultimate visualization of what it could look like when it's done. After seeing this, we're all stoked to get working on bringing this to life. If you have any ideas for what we could add to Rush Park, tell us in the comments and keep watching for updates on how we're getting on with it.